Fellow Ukrainians, at the end of this week, it is important to say a few things. First of all, the front line. Over the past seven days, we have advanced. There is movement in the Tavria directions. There is movement in the Bakhmut direction. Kupiansk and Lyman directions, Avdivka and Marienka, we are holding our ground there. I am grateful to all the warriors who make this possible. Every week, our warriors continuously keep the initiative in the hands of Ukraine. It is Ukrainian heroism that determines how this war will end. We must all remember this. Secondly, I want to thank all our people who have been helping to overcome the consequences of Russian shelling and rescuing people over the past week. Sumy, Dnipropetrovsk region, Donetsk region, cities of Odessa region. Thank you. Kostyantinivka, Donetsk region. Paramedic Ruslan Hubanov, police lieutenant. After the Russian terrorists attacked, he rescued the wounded and pulled people out of the rubble. In total, he saved 82 people during his time on duty. Thank you, Ruslan. Police Lieutenant Ole Sizov also works as a paramedic. He saved 153 people during his time on duty. Just imagine how many lives are saved by one person. Thank you, Ola. Police Captain Olena Vasilenko arrives at the sites of the attacks, documents the consequences of the shelling, and helps the wounded. She herself came under artillery fire, was wounded, and returned to duty. Thank you, Olena. And I thank the guys, the Ukrainian rescuers, who were the first to arrive after the Russian attack on Kostyantinivka, on the market. Firefighter rescuer Roman Deichko, Chief Master Sergeant Denis Sukhanov, Captain of the Civil Defense Service, Serhi Chikin. Brutal shelling of Kriviri. One person was killed. My condolences to the family. 60 wounded. I thank each and every one of you who helped save people. And I would like to especially mention Vadim Kuchkurda, Yeveni Huba, and Vladislav Karasov, employees of our state emergency service. The guys rescued three people from under the rubble. Thank you. I would also like to mention police officers Bodan Kovalenko and Valery Veliki. They were among the first to arrive at the site of the attack and began to get people out of the rubble. Sumi. Police Senior Lieutenant Yaroslav Kutz arrived at the site of the Russian shelling and quickly extinguished the fire in close proximity to people trapped under the rubble. I thank you for this speed, Yaroslav. I would also like to recognize the employees of the Sumi region's State Emergency Service, Sergeants of the Civil Defense Service Pavlo Juk and Ihor Tokarenko, and Colonel of the Civil Defense Service Serhi Halat. Thank you guys for saving the lives of our people. Odessa region, the city of Kilia. Andri Nosov, Andri Mosienko, Andri Vasilenko, our firefighters. Thank you, guys. The city of Reni. I would like to recognize a police officer, Major Denis Bandarenko. After the Russian attack by Shads, he saved four people, provided them with medical care, and took them to the hospital. I thank you, Denis. I also thank every Ukrainian doctor, every nurse, and all Ukrainian combat medics who save the lives of our people and restore their strength. This is truly a great job. And one more thing. Today, near the city of Chasivyar in Donetsk region, Russian terrorists attacked a volunteer vehicle, a direct hit from an anti-tank missile system. As of this time, we know for sure that Anthony Ignat of Canada was killed. Unfortunately, Emma Igual of Spain is also likely to have been killed. My condolences to their families. Two other volunteers were taken to Dnipro hospitals, German citizen Mawik Rubin and Swedish citizen Johan Matthias, and they are being provided with the necessary assistance. This Russian shelling once again confirms how close the war against Ukraine is to everyone in the world who truly values human life and who believes it is the common moral duty of humanity to stop terror and defeat evil. Glory to all our warriors. Glory to all our people. I thank everyone in the world who helps Ukraine survive and protect lives. We will definitely prevail. Glory to Ukraine.